Tesla stocks hit $200 per share because of today's amazing Tesla news. We'll be breaking down absolutely everything you need to know in today's video, so stay tuned. Welcome to Trade Daily, where we break down all the best stock market news. Like and subscribe to keep up to date with the stock market. And I really hope you enjoy this video. Elon Musk acknowledged he has his hands full with Twitter, and that admission might just be what Tesla investors wanted to hear. A cooler-than-expected producer price index report is sending stocks higher today. But that's probably not the only reason Tesla stock crossed the $200 per share threshold this morning. Tesla shares were trading near the highs of the morning, up 4.7%. After hitting a nearly two-year low earlier this week, Tesla has bounced from about $177 to back above $200 per share today. The recent decline came as CEO Elon Musk has been busy focusing on running Twitter as a private company. It seems investors were correct in thinking Musk's new role at Twitter could be affecting his other work. Yesterday, Musk addressed a business conference taking place along with the G20 summit in Indonesia, stating, I have too much work on my plate that is for sure. But that admission may have investors thinking Musk will not let his workload affect Tesla's business. And an upcoming investor event marking the official launch of the Tesla semi-truck is further evidence Tesla's remarkable growth continues unabated. Martin Veitcha, Tesla's head of investor relations, confirmed the company would be holding a shareholder event on deck one when the first Tesla semi-electric truck is scheduled for delivery, according to EV industry site Electrek. Musk previously announced the first Tesla semi would be delivered to PepsiCo on the first day of December. But investors might be putting money back into the stock today after its recent decline partly due to the upcoming event. By marking the occasion with a dedicated affair, it's also possible that the widely followed company will provide a surprise announcement. That's certainly no reason to buy a stock, but the fact that Tesla's business continues to grow could be one reason for today's bounce. But we're not completely out of the water as top analysts from Morgan Stanley believe Musk's Twitter disaster could wipe another quarter off Tesla's stock by year-end, warns Morgan Stanley. Elon Musk's quest to acquire Twitter has already cost Tesla shareholders a fortune this year, but the pain won't stop there. His chaotic reign over the social media platform has soured investor demand for Tesla stock so thoroughly that Morgan Stanley fears it could wipe another quarter off its value in the coming weeks. In a research note published by the Investment Bank on Monday, veteran auto industry analyst Adam Jonas warned Musk's management style could deter consumers from buying his cars and predicted price cuts for its key domestic market. Tesla shares are currently in the throes of bearish sentiment momentum. Wrote the longtime Tesla bull, predicting Tesla could test his $150 bear case price target before the year is out. Musk has dumped billions of dollars worth of Tesla stock on an unsuspecting market in an attempt to finance the deal most recently at the start of this month. In a sign that investors may be losing patience, the stock sold off last Wednesday, closing down 7.2%. Bulls have been hoping the company would confirm this week the dramatic underperformance was mainly the result of Musk's selling more shares, but they were disappointed. Having spoken to a number of investors, Jonas believes confidence in Musk's leadership at Tesla has been tested owing to the nonstop drama at Twitter, with both consumers and business partners potentially turning their backs on the EV industry leader amid the controversy. We would prepare for price cuts in China to follow in Europe as Giga Berlin begins to surpass production of 5,000 units per week, he continued. And we would expect US price cuts to be initiated sometime in the first half of 2023. Tesla has been rapidly expanding its production footprint over the course of this year, opening two new plants in Texas and Germany, in addition to installing fresh new capacity at its largest factory, Giga Shanghai. These expansions have helped reduce long lead times for delivery, but now there is the risk that Tesla suffers from excess capacity. U.S. customers ordering a custom-built Tesla Model 3 sedan or Model Y performance crossover today will get theirs delivered before December is out, according to the carmaker's design studio. With the time it takes to incorporate orders into its production plans and subsequent delivery time, this suggests Tesla's order book cushion in the U.S. may be nearly exhausted. If Tesla was starting to see demand slide enough that new billings fell short of outgoing deliveries, it could choose to cut prices just as it has done in China last month. This would mean it may have to sacrifice its industry-leading automotive gross margins of near 30%. That's because a major reason for its high profitability is its efficiency. Roughly 90% of Tesla's auto sales come from one architecture shared by both the Model 3 and its closely related Y sibling that boasts many of the same parts. This makes Tesla unique. No major carmaker apart from Tesla is so thoroughly dependent on two nearly identical models. Most seek to plaster the market with offerings in all core segments and body styles. This results in higher complexity and lower returns. 
Over the years, EV maker Tesla has evolved into a dynamic technology innovator. It has transformed the EV space much the same way as Amazon changed the retail landscape and Netflix revolutionized entertainment. Tesla is the market leader in battery-powered electric car sales in the United States, with roughly 70% market share. The company's flagship Model 3 is the best-selling EV model in the United States. Tesla, which has managed to garner the reputation of a gold standard over the years, is now a far bigger entity than what it started off with its IPO in 2010, with its market cap crossing $1 trillion for the first time in October 2021. The EV King's market capitalization is more than the combined value of legacy automakers including Toyota, Volkswagen, Daimler, General Motors, and Ford. Tesla is exact rank hash 3, holds stock with a growth style score of a and VGM score of a earnings are expected to grow 79.2% year over year for the current fiscal year, with sales growth of 54.2%. Eight analysts revised their earnings estimate upwards in the last 60 days for fiscal 2022. The Zacks consensus estimate has increased by $0.06 to $4.05 per share. Tesla boasts an average earnings surprise of 26.4%. On a historic basis, Tesla has generated cash flow growth of 95.7% and is expected to report a cash flow expansion of 177% this year. Tesla should be on investors' shortlists because of its impressive growth fundamentals, a good Zacks rank, and strong growth and VGM style score. Morgan Stanley's Jonas, who maintained his outperformed rating on the stock, has had a difficult past few weeks. Already twice he was forced to cut his base case price target last month, first from $383 down to $350 and then once more to its present $330. Nevertheless, he recommended Tesla bulls use any weakness to add to their position. Any resulting weakness in Tesla shares could create an opportunity for investors, he wrote. Shares in Tesla were trading up 4.7% to $200 on Tuesday as the market rallied on lower-than-expected factory gate inflation figures. For more reasons why Tesla stock is set to climb, we adet a video just on that right here. And with that, we've come to the end of the video. I'd like to give a huge shout out to anyone who's made it this far. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd also like to make it clear that this is a news and entertainment video, not investment advice. You should always do your own research and speak to a financial advisor before making any investments. Thank you all so much for your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the chance to win up to $20,000 in Amazon gift cards. And we'll see you in the next video. If you want more crazy trade news, how about this video we did?